people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF merchandise unboxing and review video. I was not at all expecting to record today, today was gonna be my lazy day, but then I saw this gigantic package at the front of my doorstep. You can see I took a little peek inside and I don't know why I'm teasing you, you can see it in the title and the thumbnail. These are what I believe to be the Withered Plushies by Hex. Docker was super, super kind enough to send over Hex's brand new Withered Plushies for me. This isn't a sponsored video, uh, but like I said, Docker sent them to me for free. I'm not being paid to say any of this, but I do absolutely love Hex. So if you see anything you like in this video, or heck, I've done other Hex reviews in the past, I'll leave Hex's store page linked down below. I have done videos on the first release of Hex Plushies, then I do believe I did cover the toy animatronics. But since then, Hex has been pumping out more and more plushies, the Spring Bonnie and Fredbear plushies, Pop Goes and Candies. You can see those four up there. I don't think I ever did a review video on those. They just put out the Mango plushie, the Puppet plushie, even some of the Withers that we're gonna be taking a look at today. And there's more and more on the way. Springtrap, the other Withered animatronic, Shadow Bonnie, Shadow Freddy. So eventually I'll probably do a video going over every single Hex plushie release, but for today we just got these three Withers to take a look at. But let's actually get into the review now, shall we? In the unboxing, first of all, we got this glorious bag to take a look at. I do always love when they change up the packaging for the different waves. So like here you can see Freddy, Foxy, Wither Chica as well. Just a nice little touch. Now I'm not sure which character we're gonna be unboxing in this bag first. Let's open it up. Let me have a peek inside. Oh, nice. You can just barely see him. First up, we've got Withered Foxy. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the entire gimmick of Hex is that they come apart. So I was like, oh no. I have to build him. Before we move on to the plushie though, take a look at this card for Withered Foxy. Every Hex plushie has these collectible cards that come with the plushie. This one has Withered Foxy running down the FNAF 2 hallway. I love these cards. I have them like hung up on all my pictures in the office. They just look so, so incredible. So I'm super happy to have more. But this is the Withered Foxy plushie. He's absolutely massive. It's actually hard to show him, show all of him on camera, but this guy's peak. The amount of detail they put on these plushies, especially these Withered plushies is so, so incredible. He's got all the withering on him. Even his front of his chest is ripped open. This little tuft of his body actually flips open. So it actually seems like the suit, you know, the fur has ripped off the endoskeleton. It's not just, you know, stuck on there. Something I thought was interesting is the bronze endoskeleton you might be able to notice on camera. It's not exactly a silvery, you know, like shiny white endo. It's actually bronze. I'm not entirely sure. I, I can't remember the reasoning for it, but honestly, I think it looks better. I think it fits Foxy's color scheme more. So while it might not be entirely accurate to Withered Foxy's actual character, I think it looks good. Tag's actually very annoying and getting in the way, but yeah. There's his face. When the tufts of fur are pushed forward, he looks good. Like I mentioned earlier, all of the Hex plushies have the ability to come apart, though you can see if you don't want them to, the magnets are still very strong. Arms can come apart. It doesn't look like his body. No, the, his body cannot, but his legs can. And actually the wires stay, that is, okay. That's a cool touch. Even when you take off his legs, the wires in his legs still stay. That is such, such a nice touch, wow. All right, let's move on now to the second bag. It should either be Withered Bonnie or Withered Freddy. We will come back to Foxy, because admittedly, I do want to mix and match some of their body parts. That's the whole gimmick of Hex. We might as well show it off. Inside here, looks like it's Freddy. Freddy, you're trapped. Oh, let's get you out of here. But before we get to the plushie, once again, this is Withered Freddy's trading, or well, not trading card, but collectible card. I guess you could trade them if you want. Replicating that iconic pose he has in the FNAF 2 office that like every merchandise company uses. So it makes sense that we see it here with Hex. He looks kind of sad. He looks kind of sad and I feel bad. Actually, probably because it looks like his leg is actually attached to where his arm should be. So let's put you back together. Call me a FNAF 4 minigame the way I'd be putting Freddy Fazbear back together. Where does your arm go? That, that doesn't seem right. Okay, wait. He is so, he's so large. I love that about him. He looks so small and chubby. <laughs> compared to Foxy, look at how tall and skinny he is compared to Freddy. Normally I'd be like, right, you know, design inconsistencies and size inconsistencies. But honestly, I mean, it makes them look so much cuter. <laughs> Something I love about Hex is that they'll actually change up the materials they use based on what characters and what variant of the characters they're making. So you can see Withered Freddy has a lot more of a furry, fuzzy design, right? Compared to Foxy that doesn't have that kind of, you know, typical teddy bear look to him. But just like Foxy, insane, insane amounts of details here. You can see all the wires coming out of Freddy, his arms, his legs, even on his body, you know, the buttons. He's got a little microphone that just like all the other Hex plushies, you can take apart and put it onto a different character if you want. He's got a little bear tail as well, a few more rips and tears on the back of him. This might be one of my new favorite Hex plushies just because they made him look so adorable. You know, Withered Freddy, he's supposed to be old and creepy and smelly and stinky, but this plushie of him, 
He just looks so cute. You know, he looks like a regular teddy bear that I'd want to snuggle up with. And we still have Bonnie to take a look at, but already, I mean, here is where some of the hex parts and service bits come in. And even put his arm down here. Look at that. <laughs> Actually, if we take out the microphone, looks like he's striking a pose. Before we continue mixing and matching, though, let's take a look at Withered Bonnie, who is going to be the final plushie for today. Like I said, the rest of the Withered animatronics, Chica and Golden Freddy, they release at a later date. And already, you can see an interesting thing about Withered Bonnie is that they actually included his old faceplate. But here is the final card to take a look at Withered Bonnie inside of Parts and Service. And actually, it looks pretty identical to what his actual pose looks like in FNAF 2 inside Parts and Service, so shout out to Accuracy. He does does have his faceplate on. Admittedly, I do think I would have preferred if the card didn't have his faceplate on, just because, again, more accurate to what Withered Bonnie traditionally looks like. But speaking of faceplates, let's start off with that. As you can see, he, he looks a bit goofy with it on, I'll admit. Especially from that side profile, it looks like all these wires up here are kind of blocking the face from, from sitting correctly or sitting properly. But you can take it off. Ooh, that's a very strong magnet on there. And there is his endo head. You got the differently colored wires, the red, the black wires up here, those big bright red beady eyes, the teeth as well. Honestly, again, a very, very accurate plush to what Withered Bonnie normally looks like. And now you just kind of have his face. So you can take it off. You can put it back on. I did the reverse as I said that, but you know what I mean. That is definitely... Not where that goes, Bonnie. Was that your other leg? Let's put that right back down there. So this is what he would look like if you left the face on. Again, a little goofy, but I really do appreciate them adding that because they really didn't have to. Oh my god, come off. There you go. So this is what he would normally look like, right? And again, whole bunch of detail with the endo foot. His entire arm has been chopped off, so he just got a bunch of wires. Looks like some of them are connected back into... Okay, that's nice. Some of the wires loop back and connect back into the body so they don't uh, easily come out, I'd, I'd assume. Which, again, is a nice touch to make sure the plush doesn't completely fall apart. He's got a tail behind him as well, some more withering on the back, his endo hand. I think this is how I would normally display the plushie. Again, you can have... Oh, he's got a little buck tooth. I didn't realize that because it's, it's sticking right up. These guys are so massive, it's hard to show them all off. But this is all of the plushies. I'll probably do a wider shot to properly show them off. Some very, very accurate plushies. I do always, always, always appreciate the hard work and dedication Hex, uh, Daco, Warren James, all the people that work on these plushies put into creating them. They've shown off some of the early prototypes of each plush before and the process they go through from prototype to final design is really, 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 truly amazing. You can tell they really care about delivering the best possible plushies they can and I think these withered plushies are another perfect lineup to what has already been some very, very solid plushies from Hex. I think I had my issues with the toys but, I mean, seeing what they've been pumping out recently with these withers, with the puppet, you know, the design changes they went through with the puppet based on community feedback. The incredible release of the Mango plushie, like, it seems like that took a long time to develop, obviously, because it is such a complex design, but thankfully they, they made it look good. So you can tell Hex just absolutely works their ass off and... Some more upcoming plushies look fantastic. Like I said, the rest of the Withered. Springtrap looks incredible as well. Uh, they showed off concept art for the fun times. Very intrigued to see what those plushies end up looking like. And as promised, here are some of the absolutely horrible creations that I've made with these new plushies. I added Freddy's leg to... Uh, how do I even explain? I tried to explain it. I don't know how do I how, how do I explain this. <laughs> and then, of course, shout out to all the Frawny fans. Another massive shout out and thank you to Daco for sending me these plushies. He's been super, super supportive and kind throughout the entire process. I'm sure you might have seen Hex has been having a few shipping delays and issues recently, but it seems like they're all getting resolved. Like I said, these were sent to me for free. I'm not sponsored. I'm not being paid to promote these in any way. I just really genuinely do appreciate the work that Hex and Daco put into these. So if you want to pick up any plushies, again, links down below. I just uploaded a review on the U2's Ruin plushies on my second channel. I think the figures for Ruin are shipping out pretty soon, so I will be doing a review on those as well when they come in, either on this channel or the second channel. We'll freaking see, I don't know. But thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.